Who doesn't love juicy office gossip? Well, I've got a secret to share with you about Excel, it's date diff, one of Excel's best kept secrets for calculating the time between two dates. And if you stick around until the end, I'll show you an awesome trick to combine years, months and days into a single formula. Let's dive into this hidden gem. What is the date diff function? Date diff is an amazing function that helps you find the number of days, months or years between two dates. The funny thing is, it's a secret function because it won't pop up when you type it in Excel. But don't worry. If you follow the correct syntax, it works like magic. Breaking down the date diff function. The date diff function has three key arguments. Start date. This is the date you want the calculation to start from. End date. The date you want to end the calculation on. Unit. This tells Excel whether you want the number of years, months or days between the start and end dates. Here's how the unit argument works. Use Y to calculate the number of years. Use M to calculate the number of months. Use D to calculate the number of days. Let's see it in action. Imagine we have a list of projects, each with a start date and a completion date. Our boss wants to know how many years each project took. Here's how we can do it using date diff. Click on an empty cell and type equals date diff, open bracket. Select the start date, e.g. cell C3, add a comma and select the end date, e.g. cell D3. Add another comma and type Y in double quotes. Press enter and voila, you have the number of years. Once the first formula is done, use the autofill handle to drag it down and calculate the years for all projects. What if we need months instead? No problem. If our boss suddenly decides they need the number of months, we can easily adjust the formula by changing the unit argument from Y to M. Just update the formula and drag it down the column again. Need days? Easy fix. If you need the exact number of days each project took, simply update the unit argument to D and hit enter. Excel will now show the total number of days between the two dates. Combining years, months and days. Want to take it to the next level? You can combine years, months and days into a single formula to get a full breakdown. Here's how. I'll add this formula into the first cell. I will add it to the description below so you can easily copy it into your Excel spreadsheet. Let's break this formula down. We are using the same argument at the start, but adding YM, which calculates the number of months ignoring years, MD, calculates the number of days ignoring months. Once you enter this formula, Excel will display the project duration in a friendly format, like two years, five months, 10 days. Ready to share this Excel secret? Now that you've unlocked the power of date diff, it's time to impress your colleagues with your newfound knowledge. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome Excel tips. And be sure to turn on notifications so you never miss a new video.